In this video, we're gonna take a look at the best image background remover in a three-way shootout. We're gonna take a look at the usability, the affordability, and also how it integrates into your current workflow. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If we haven't met, my name is Toy, and on this channel, I share tips, tutorials, and reviews just like this one to help busy entrepreneurs and creatives simplify the video creation process. If that's something that interests you, then consider subscribing and be part of the family. So we're going to start with remove.bg. I'm just going to pull that in into remove.bg and immediately it does its job. Boom, boom, boom. Next, we're going to go into background. Uh, so we're going to go into removal.ai, the same image. We're going to just drag across. It does its thing. Right. So not everything was removed. Um, the next one is Canva. We're going to pull the same image into Canva. And with Canva, there's just one more step to do, which is to click on the effects and click on background remover. And there you have it. Okay, so the next image we're gonna use this one. We're gonna drag this into remove.bg and quick as a whistle, it's done its job. The next one will be for removal.ai. The same image, drag it into it. Let's see what happens to this one. Okay, so this removed the table from the foreground, which is interesting. Okay, right. So we're gonna do, use the same image in Canva and see how that fares. Again, go to the effects, background remover, and that does the job as well. The last image we're gonna to use today is gonna to be one of a product. So I'm just gonna use uh, the sneakers for the thumbnail. Just drag that here as well. Okay. And that's pretty straightforward again. Place the whole thing out. Um, let's do the same for removal.ai. And same. And for Canva. And also with Canva, as you can see, we're able to get that out as well. So let's now compare all three. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the usability. For the, the images that remove.bg, um, I mean, pretty much it was three out of three. The software was able to remove the background, no questions asked. When we go to removal.ai, um, it didn't do quite as much as expected for one thing um, it's similar to remove.bg but it seems the ai engine is not that accurate um, in removing the whole background especially when it's this close to the image itself so it struggled with this initial um, image and the other thing uh, and the last one it took out both the background and part of the foreground so in terms of its effectiveness and usability, I will give this one over three. Um, going to Canva now, Canva all the way through was able to remove the background on the pair of shoes hanging on the doorway, um, the single shoe and of the ladies in the kitchen. So basically the effectiveness of Canva is three over three, just like remove.bg. Now, Let's go into affordability. So for remove.bg, um, if you open an account with them, you get one free credit as part of your signing up. And for you to you for you to have subsequent use of um, removing your background um, with the original resolution, then you have to subscribe to a plan which is about 18 pence in the uk per image 
for removal.ai, you also get one free credit and they are offering um, for 40 images is $5.99, which is kind of, that is cheaper actually than, than um, remove.bg. Um, coming to Canva, Canva is a bit different in that the background removal tool is not on the free um, on the free plan. Shock horror. However, with with Canva, um, once you I mean if you if you're using the paid version, you get the full resolution. Obviously, if um, the same way you would with um, uh, remove.bg and removal.ai, um, which brings us swiftly into how that will integrate into your workflow. Okay, so for me, um, I use remove.bg and I also use Canva. I recently upgraded to the pro plan mainly because I use it to create my thumbnails. I use it to create my social media post. I used to schedule my, um, my social media post and I also use it for client work. So Canva is a robust all-in-one tool as opposed to remove.bg and removal.ai. So um, I'm getting more for my money than um, what I would if I were just paying for the removal, removal of a background only um, on either remove.bg and, and removal.ai. But if you, are, if you are strictly wanting to go for a free tool, I would highly recommend remove.bg. You know, you can always download your image and upload that transparent image into Canva and use as part of your design. I hope that helps you. And um, I will be looking forward to hearing your comments and your thoughts on which tool that you use. And if this video helped you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe um, to the channel. And until next time, take care and God bless.